Yeah, so sharpening pencils now. Just thought I'd show you quickly how I've got a few pencils to sharpen. Um, you can sharpen them just with blade like this. But what I like to do is hold them down on to a hard surface and it's nice and sturdy that way. Nice and steady. You don't have to worry about, you know, doing all this business and uh, trying to keep it steady. It, it, it kind of goes all over the place. So I, I tend to do this. It, it's easier actually. It's a lot easier. Just hold them flat. And just roll them around. Like that. You've got a nice, pretty good point on there. You want to get a really sharp point on there. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of hair work today and I quite like them a little bit sharper for, for what I need to do today. Um, but as I said, you don't need them madly sharp. So the next stage would be to get m more of a point on there. You're going to be doing this kind of thing. I think that's the best angle for me there. Just that really. Keep it quite flat. Keep it as close to the surface as you can. Just roll it down. This is just sandpaper. Nice colour. Hmm. There you go. And these are quite easy to sharpen actually compared to a lot of pencils because they don't seem to break. They don't seem to break very easily. It's a good thing. So that's quite a nice, quite a nice point on there. If you wanted to, you could get them really, really sharp, but you could, as you can just try it out. This is just a bit of paper towel, obviously. Then I'll do the white one now. So just cut that off. You just throw this away after then. So we'll do the white one now. So yeah. Just be careful with this blade. Don't get your fingers anywhere near it. It's very sharp. This is just a craft knife. But this is a surgical quality, so it's very it's very sturdy. But I'm not keen on changing the blades. You have to get a pair of pliers. Uh, there's a video on YouTube actually that you can you can find and watch and basically you take them out with pliers. Don't get your finger anywhere near that blade. So just be careful. So if you wanted to you could just really do it like that. And sometimes um, you can make them into a nice wedge so it's all flat either side. Also, if you're doing really fine work, you've got lots of the lead showing like that, well it's not lead, the pastel showing like that, it's um, it's easier to see what you're doing and you've got lots, lots like that, but of course you do need quite a firm pencil, um, pastel pencil for that. Okay, so I'm just going to... Also do is if you've got if you want to do a background quite a good way to do a very light background is um uh, keep your keep your pastel powder 
and then put it on with a brush. Put it on with a dry brush. It's quite good. Okay, that's okay. okay. Nice. Do it. There we go. Our sharp points. Easier than using a pencil sharpener. It's a bit of a knack, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Then just tap all that off. Try not to blow it around. Don't breathe it in. It's never a good idea to breathe in pasta or powder. 